Hi everyone, in today's video I'll be unboxing and reviewing the latest version of the Foam Masters Memory Foam Ear Tips for the Apple AirPods Pro. You may recall I reviewed their 2.0 and 3.0 versions previously, and now they are back with their new, latest 4.0 version which they are naming Black Magic. Full disclaimer that Foam Masters did send me this set free of charge in turn for another honest review, but as always they are not compensating me in any other way, so this review will be my straightforward opinion of this product. So the first difference I'm seeing is the packaging is definitely a step up and looks very premium. In fact, all of this white and black reminds me of the new PlayStation 5. Making our way inside the box, we find another box with the ear tips. Underneath that, we have a card with some information on using the tips and a note asking for reviews. Now let's take a look at the actual case. It's made out of hard plastic and it's pretty sturdy. Inside we have another card with information on the return policy and support. I thought this was stuck to something, but it's actually just a really sturdy and premium card. It has directions on how to insert them into your ear, which is pretty standard. Now let's look at this box. It's really nice and has three sections for each size, which definitely is more organized than their old packaging, where they were all thrown together inside of a small plastic clear box. It also lets you safely store your Apple OEM tips without damaging them, unlike Charge and Pro's models, which had the pegs which will bust through the earwax screen. One thing I noticed off the bat is something on the side of the foam, and it looks like they now have their logo embossed in the foam. That's pretty cool, but unless the light hits it just right, it kind of looks like a crack at first. But thankfully, it's fine. Looks like they have a silver mesh screen inside, which is great, and it's large and close to the edge, which should make cleaning easier compared to past models, where it was smaller and deeper inside the tips. Let's go ahead and give them a squeeze. The foam expands very slow, much like their past models. In fact, when you compare it to their previous version and even Charge and Pro's models, the time it takes for the foam to expand is all very long, while on the other hand, Comply's ear tips expand much quicker, which I personally find better, but this could just be user preference. Let's go ahead and install one here and see how they click into place. As you can hear, they do have a satisfying click and no issues with the foam wiggling around or coming off. I got the multi-pack which includes one pair of small, medium, and large, and when I measured the sizes between their third and fourth version, I found very slight changes which includes less width, more length, and more tallness. This is very close to what I've seen with Comply's ear tips, however one difference is that Comply's foam reaches all the way over the plastic core, whereas Foam Master's small and medium sizes stop a little short, but in the grand scheme of things, I don't think this difference really equates to much so I wouldn't worry about it. Now let's talk about the fit. I personally found the small to fit me the best, however the Comply on the other hand, I found the medium to fit the best for me. This is still good because I think they fit better than the Charge and Pro models which I recently reviewed because theirs always seem to be a tad bit too large for me. With the Foam Masters, I haven't had any issues with them falling on my ears or breaking apart. They pass the Apple Fit Test and like anything that has a good seal in your ear, they do a good job at blocking out external sounds and they improve the active noise cancellation. As far as the fit in the case, we'll swap to the large size and pop them in, and the lid does stay shut and they charge just fine. When we look at the shape, Foam Masters definitely made some changes here. They said, quote, Our goal was to provide better insulation by tapering the front of the tip and widening the rear of the tip to fit more naturally in the ear, filling the ear even better, unquote. I can attest to this, and I think the shape is much better, similar to the Comply ear tips. One thing I do want to note is that these tips gave me a weird pressure feeling in my ears. Kind of like when you change elevation when you're traveling and your ears want to pop. It feels like that, which is very odd and something that I've never really experienced before with an ear tip like this. I told this to Foam Masters and they said, quote, Since these tips are the deepest fitting ear tips in the market, it really makes more contact with the ear for a more snug fit. So the user may feel more of it. We've made it as soft as possible and as the user wears it longer, the natural body heat will soften the foam even more." Unquote. I also mentioned to them I was not happy with the crackling noise as the foam expands, and they said, quote, "...many users have found not needing to compress the tips, just inserting them normally works even faster, and this will eliminate the crackling and waiting too." Unquote. Taking a look at the appearance of the foam, it looks more solid and deeper black compared to others I reviewed, which is good, since over time this type of foam usually starts turning lighter as it absorbs ear moisture. However, one downside I've noticed with this new type is that the foam looks really wrinkled and chipped when compressed, and Foam Master comments that this is due to their new coating which helps with sweat resistance. So all in all, do I recommend these? 
Yeah, I think they're definitely a nice upgrade compared to Foam Master's previous versions. However, I think I'll be switching back to the Comply because I personally like the feeling of their foam better. Now, am I saying everybody should just go buy the Complies? No, theirs are not perfect either, and Comply's customer service has some issues. You're welcome to watch my thoughts on the Comply ear tips and make that decision for yourself. And now for the pricing and availability. At the time I'm recording this video in January 2020, they're not available yet, but they are expected to remain at the same price as the previous version, and I'll put a link down in the video description to where you can buy them. In addition, if you purchase anything on Amazon using my affiliated link, your price stays the same, but a small commission may come back to help support my channel. So if you're interested in these, definitely check out the links in the video description. That's it for today. I hope you found this video useful. Make sure to stay subscribed because in my next video, I'm going to be reviewing one more option for ear tips for people that are looking for an alternative silicone option. And hopefully after that, I'll be able to put together my complete roundup video where I'll be comparing all the different ear tips I've reviewed over the years and determine winners for different categories. So ring that bell and let me know down in the comments if you have any questions. And with that, I thank you for watching and have a great day.